Agent down. Immediate medical assistance. An agent needs assistance. supply drop. What's up everyone? The LDB is back at it again. Coming at you today with my King Clutch build for PvP. And I named it that mainly just because, in my opinion, it is still king in PvP. I've tried out the three-piece True Patriot, the Bleed builds, Bloodsucker, and I always find myself coming back to Clutch for some reason. Now this build, as you can see, does some insane damage and has some really nice survivability, being that it only has four blues, but still over 250k health. Gotta love that there. 
Also, I made a point to make this without perfect berserk or perfect clutch so that everyone can have a chance of building something just like this without endlessly farming the DZ for those named pieces. So as always, I hope you enjoy or find this video helpful. If you do, please do me a huge favor and smash that like button, subscribe for future content if you are new to the channel, and uh, feel free to drop a comment down there below. So let's get into this. All right, everyone, and here it is. As you can see, we have 13 reds, 4 blue, and 0 yellow. That's right, we do not need any skill power for this build. We are going raw DPS as much as possible. Now, the armor is sitting at 195,000. I really tried to break 200k, but when we have 256,000 health to back us up... I think we're doing okay. When you roll that up with clutch, you should be just fine for the most part. Now, as far as the specialization go, I'm going to be using the Demolitionist simply because in PvP, this is pretty much a one-shot. If you're in conflict and you can get the specialization uh, supply drop, and uh, you know you can launch one of these at uh, a group of people. I try to wait till they kind of clump up a little bit. Lob this out there. You get a, a single, double kill, maybe a triple. Who knows? Point being, it's OP as hell, right? So definitely try this thing out. As well as if you're in the DZ and you can acquire some of the ammo for this, and you go to extract. Just hold this thing in your hand, and a lot of people won't even mess with you if they see that you got the Demolitionist out. Uh, so just a little tip for those solo players that are having a hard time extracting. So on to the weapons. Alright everyone, so my primary weapon that I'm going to be using is the Police M4. I've been using this for the most part as of lately. Uh, in the gameplay I might have shown using a couple different weapons, and that's just me going around trying to see what works out the best. I tried out the Rail Splitter, I tried out a P416, a couple different FAMAS, another M4, and yet they all do work out very well. I think this one definitely takes the cake, and it's simply because of the talents that revolve around RPM. Because on a clutch build, from what I've found, from in my opinion... RPM is clutch on a clutch build. It is crucial. It's a must-have. The faster you can put those bullets down range, the faster you're going to crit, doing more damage for one, as well as getting your health back on top of it. And when we have a very big health pool, it makes it very, very streamlined, easy to go and uh, just kind of wreck some shit, right? Gotta love it. This weapon right here, 21.1k per bullet base damage. The RPM is 935 with 50 in the mag. Now, with measure, the top half of the magazine, plus 20% rate of fire, minus 15% weapon damage. That's going to put us up to about 1,100 RPM. Just over 1,100 RPM on this weapon. Absolutely insane. And like I was saying, the faster you can put those bullets on range, the faster you're going to crit, the faster you're going to get your health back, you're doing more damage. So on so forth, it just snowballs real nice. And when we put all these talents together on all these gear pieces, oh boy, it just gets nasty. Absolutely gets nasty. But the bottom half of the magazine has minus 20% rate of fire and 30% total weapon damage. So if you do get into the bottom half of your mag, you're still going to be doing crazy damage every time you land a bullet. Now, as far as uh, overlap goes, I just have this on here. Uh, gain 5% weapon handling when I swap over to my Eagle Bear. If I run out of ammo, instead of reloading, swap to the Eagle and, uh, you know, just keep on, keep on going, keep on clutching it, right? Uh, now, the mods that I have on here, uh, we have the Optic that gives us that 5% crit damage, the Magazine that gives us 20 rounds, the Under Barrel that gives us 5% crit chance, and the Suppressor that gives us that plus 20% stability at the cost of minus 10% optimal range, but in all honesty, I really don't even notice that. It's all about that stability, landing shots on target, and uh, getting those crits, and, you know, just doing damage and getting health back. That's all, That's name of the game right there. Um, so other than that, moving on to the Eagle Bear, I'm sure everybody knows what this is. This thing hits like a truck in PvP, 24.6k per bullet. The RPM is 750 with 60 in the mag. And uh, again, I'm sure we all know what this uh, pretty much does, but it has protected fire on here while holstered, gain plus 10% bonus armor while firing your current weapon. Gotta love that. So as long as I'm pulling the trigger on my primary weapon, I have 10% bonus armor on top of everything else. So it really is working out nice. Now as far as the Eagle Bearer, don't overlook this when you're going up on a crit build because the optic right here gives us that 10% crit hit chance and we have the muzzle that gives us 15% crit hit damage. So this can definitely be used on a crit build. It definitely does work out really, really nice. And again, it has that very big base damage uh, per bullet on the weapon that you just can't get away from a lot of times. So uh, other than that, the... Uh, pistol that I'm using, just simply using this because it has protected reload. While equipped, this weapon grants 10% bonus armor while reloading. So no matter what, if I'm firing or if I'm reloading, I get that little bit of bonus armor and it definitely, definitely helps out. So on to the gear pieces. 
All right, so the mask that I'm going to be using is the named Duggan Harding Punch Drunk Mask. This is the only named piece on the entire build. Like I said, it did not go for the perfect berserk or the perfect clutch, simply because I wanted this build to be for everyone, not just for those that go and grind the Dark Zone constantly to get all those perfect pieces and then just go smash everyone. This one still works. I'm telling you, I promise you, this build still works without having all the perfect stuff on here. But regardless, this is a named piece, and uh, therefore it could be a little bit harder to find. But in my opinion, if you go and farm Duggan Harding for about an hour, you'll probably get at least two of these. The, the trick is getting one with the best health roll. As you can see on here, we have 20,000 health with 11% crit chance on there. And uh, since I do have the three-piece Duggan Harding active, we get that plus 5% accuracy, plus 10% crit hit damage, and plus 7% crit hit chance. Gotta love that there. Now the talent here, Perfect Concussion, Headshots Grant, plus 20% headshot damage for 2 seconds. 5 seconds with the Marksman Rifle. But point being is, it's only for 2 seconds, but if you can get that accuracy and laser beam a face, you're going to be doing so much headshot damage on top of the crits and all that, it is ridiculous. Definitely try this one out if you have not already. So let's go on to the chest piece. Alright, so my chest piece here is a Stridevast... Combat vest. I don't know how the hell you say that, but it's Fenris. You get that 10% assault rifle damage on it. Uh, we got that 10% crit hit damage, 5.5 weapon damage. I wish that weapon damage was higher, but it is what it is. Uh, we have 58,000 health on it, though, so hey, that's pretty good. And we have Berserk. 8% weapon damage for every 20% max armor depleted. Pretty straightforward on that. It's not the 10%, but at the same time, hey, it, it still works out very nice. Now, as far as restorative, 30% health on a kill, I actually found that to be pretty helpful because we get, well, health on a kill. As soon as you put someone down, um, you get that 30% health, and when you have 256,000 health, that's a that's a big chunk. That's a pretty big chunk. Um, so definitely check that one out if you have not already. As far as the mods go, uh, we just have that uh, 0.5 weapon damage with 5% assault rifle damage and 1% damage to armor. All right, so the holster here is Gila Garb. We get that plus 5% total armor just for using it. We have 45,000 health roll down there with 9% crit chance. Not too bad. I wish I could get that chance just a little bit higher, but overall, it's been working out very, very nice. Uh, now, the mods on here, we have 1.5 weapon damage, 4% assault rifle damage, 1% damage to armor, uh, times 2, basically, on here, right? So, uh, pretty straightforward on that. Nothing too crazy. Now, on to the knees. Okay, so the knee pads that I'm going to be using are Mirakami, and I wanted to talk about these for just a moment here because I don't see a lot of people running Mirakami when they are going with a health clutch build. And uh, I know people are trying to push their crit damage using Wyvern or maybe up their accuracy with Araldi, something like that. Maybe, you know, put a two-piece Gila so you get some uh, uh, hazard protection, something like that. Uh, whatever the case may be, uh, I think that people should try out Mirakami. Definitely try out Mirakami. At least put one piece on here because you get that plus 8% health. And if you take a look here and I go ahead and swap over to this Duggan Harding piece uh, that has the crit chance and composure, the same old deal, uh, my health, as you can see, drops down to 241 from 256. Now, a lot of people might not think that's a big deal, but to me, I'm trying to max out that health as much as possible. I was trying to break 260, but I'll settle for 256, I guess, because it's, it's working. Uh, but regardless, on this piece here, we get that plus 8% health for using Mirakami. I have 9% crit chance rolled on there with Composure. This is another one that I think people overlook. People don't like to use this because you have to be in cover. But even if you just, just go into cover real quick... Even if you're out in the open, just roll the cover and start shooting. You can really destroy someone. Immediate medical assistance. Because while you're in cover, grants 10% total weapon damage on top of everything else that we've got going on in the build. And we haven't even got to the backpack or anything yet. So uh, either way, the only downfall about putting these on the knee pads is that we have a defensive mod slot that I cannot use. Because if I do, then I have more than four blues on the build and clutch will not be active. So you have to be very uh, tricky about how you work this. All right, so the gloves that I'm going to be using are also Doug and Harding. Uh, these ones right here, not too bad. We have 3% crit chance on there. That could be better, but, uh, you know, I'll settle for it as of right now. And 12% assault rifle damage. I know as far as uh, the talent goes, we have clutch. And this is just regular clutch. Critical hits restore 20% missing health and repair 1% missing armor. Now, I know that's a little bit different than perfect clutch, but at the same time, you have to think about this. Your crit hits are restoring 20% missing health. 
20%. So again, the faster your RPM is, the faster you're going to crit, the faster you're going to get that health back. 20% at a time means 5 crit hits, and your, your health is 100% again. And if you just keep on dumping, your health is just going to constantly come back. Yes, it will be a little bit better if this was perfect, but at the same time, then it would be the 511 breaking the three piece Duggan Harding. I would be losing some crit chance. So you got to kind of weigh that to yourself. Um, to me, I just went with regular, like I said before, just so that everyone can use this build. And uh, overall, it's been working out awesome for me. So let's take a look at the backpack. All right, so for the final piece here, the backpack, it is also Duggan Harding. Let me tell you, this one was a really hard one to find i mean i'm talking like this took about five days literally of playing to finally get this backpack and uh first shout out to everybody that helped me farm for this uh daddy gamer fugazi shlomino you guys are awesome and then i ended up just getting it off of a random in a random group he says hey i got uh i got the backpack you said you were looking for and i couldn't be happier the rolls are not the best but they are the rolls that i was looking for so Hey, I can't complain. It is what it is, and it's been working out awesome. We got weapon damage, crit chance, and health with Spark and Vital. Get those lined up on a Duggan Harding backpack, and, uh, you know, I think you're going to be in a good place. It, it, and the, the, the pain about it, the worst part, is that you can't craft these backpacks. You can't craft these. You got to find it. So uh, it's a lot harder than you think. Either way, we got that 4% weapon damage, 42,000 health, 5.5 crit chance. That's going to help the build out a lot with spark and vital. Damaging enemies with skills or explosives grants 15% weapon damage for 15 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and throw out that uh, striker drone, let that take a couple hits on the person, and then uh, you got an extra 15% weapon damage ready to rock as soon as they come up to you. Got to love that. And especially if you're in cover with composure, then Berserk kicks in, you get some headshots with Concussion. Oh boy, you, you see where I'm going with this. It just stacks really nice. And of course we have Vital on there. That's a must. 25% health on there. With a mod that gives us plus 0.5% weapon damage, 5% assault rifle damage, and well, some rifle damage that doesn't matter. Uh, but point being is this backpack right here is definitely... An amazing backpack. I love it because it gives you the red mod slot. I was going for a Mirakami backpack, and uh, you know because you can craft those, and uh, I was farming them as well. But uh, you know I just couldn't get the rolls, and uh, the Duggan Harding finally came out, and it has the red mod slot. I could not be happier. So that is the build, guys. Let's get onto these skills really quick. All right. So like I said before, I'm going to be using the Striker drone over the defender drone simply because that defender drone gets popped so easily so easily uh the striker drone actually goes out and you can send it out and you know it attacks people instead of you know just hovering right over your head and therefore that's going to proc spark for me before they even get close to me that's at least the plan right and uh, therefore when they get up to me i have an extra 15 percent weapon damage already to rock and roll and if i'm in cover with composure so on and so forth it works out really nice um, now as far as the restorer hive goes this thing does not heal you all that much as you can see pvp healing 18,900 hit points but it's something it's some kind of a heal to bring back armor that is the one thing R restorer hive sends out micro repair drones that expend themselves to repair allies armor so you got clutch that's going to be healing you from your health bar and uh, then you have this that's going to be helping you on your armor bar pretty straightforward on that nothing too crazy and of course you got to use concussion grenades those are a must uh, definitely use these that will proc spark for you as well and uh you do a lot of damage do a lot of damage so that is the build let's take a look at the stat sheet really quick before we go ahead and sign off all right everyone so really quick before we go ahead and sign off let's do a little recap here on the stat sheet see how everything breaks down now the weapon talents here we have measured and allegro again those two right there are like a must definitely try that out and you will you should see a, a big improvement i'm just gonna say it right there um, now we also have overlap on here we have protected fire we have protected reload. We have some high explosive grenades. Gotta love those. Now the PvP weapon damage, we're talking 14.4. I know that's not the best, but again, that RPM is where it's at. I can't push that enough. Now as far as the crit chance goes, we're at 49.5. I know it's not maxed out or anything, 60%, but the way I look at it right here is we're about 50% crit chance, right? That, that basically means that 5 out of 10 bullets are going to land as crits, compared to being at 60% where it would be 6 out of 10 bullets. 
5 out of 10, 6 out of 10, doesn't really matter to me. My point being is those crits are going to be healing you, and they're still going to be doing a lot of damage. we got 50% crit hit damage on top of it, and uh, again, the RPM pushing it is is really, I can't <laughs> I can't stress it enough. Uh, we have some headshot damage, 55%. Range is pretty good, 32. Uh, 2.7 second reload time there, a little bit of accuracy, stability. We have 13.5 all-weapon damage bonus and 55 assault rifle damage bonus. So we're doing pretty good there. It's not the strongest, but again, uh, you know, with trying to focus on getting all those blues where I need it, it's a lot harder to place all of your weapon damage. You know what I mean? That's the only thing I can say about that. Um, so that could be better, by all means. Now, other than that, we do have a little bit of armor damage here. We have 29 health damage and 25 explosive damage just for using the... Um, demolitionist so you gotta love that right there whether you throw a grenade in their lap or if you're shooting them out of your launcher it's a bad day for them so other than that uh, i mean talking about the uh, talents here we got spark vital berserk restorative perfect concussion clutch composure again right there you're talking a lot of damage when these start to stack up um and it's been working out awesome absolutely awesome now the brands we got three piece duck and harding one fenris one gila one mirakami now the armor 195 the health 256 health on a kill 77,000 that's not too bad health regeneration 128 uh you know we're doing pretty good we got some pulse resistance here as well because no one likes those uh but other than that i mean we're getting on to these skills again and uh you know then dark soul perks so nothing too crazy there that is uh basically the build in itself and i hope you enjoyed and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, my King Clutch build for PvP. I hope you all enjoyed or took something away from this video. As I showed, uh, you don't necessarily always need those name pieces. Sure, it will help you out in the long run, but really, uh, when you break the Duggan Harding 3-piece and put that 511 uh, gloves on with a perfect clutch, it really kind of jumbles things up. So I just went with regular clutch and also, again, just made this so that everybody can have a chance at making this. Uh, the people that run solo, things like that, that go into the DZ and try to get the name pieces, it just doesn't work out. I feel you guys and uh, that's why I kind of made this build here. So as always, I hope you enjoy or find this video helpful. If you did, please do me a huge favor and smash that like button. Subscribe for future content if you are new to the channel and uh, feel free to drop a comment down there below. So until next time, guys, I hope you take it easy. I will see you then. Later.